Hello everyone and welcome to today's video where I'm going to show you a simple way for producing the interiors of how to draw books for kids. Now my name is Paul Miles and I do videos on how to make it, keep it and grow it and that's your money I'm talking about. And if you like videos like that then make sure you hit the subscribe button and also give that bell a smash to receive notifications when I produce videos like this. And also give it a thumbs up if you like it. I do appreciate it very much. So, how to draw books for kids. These are part of the activity book niche. And why am I looking at this? Because it's lockdown 2020. And kids are at home driving their parents mad. And so they're buying these nice activity books, how to draw books, how to trace books for their children to keep them occupied and so as a result they're selling quite well and I'll show you here's one how to draw animals now let's have a look at the best sellers rank 471 that's the kind of best sellers rank that makes me excited and if we have a look inside we can see the sort of diagrams we're going to be producing these simple line diagrams with a, an opposite blank page where kids can copy these drawings. Some books do have coloured pictures in. If you wanted to do that yourself, you can, although KDP is going to take um, more of the profits off you for that, so you'd have to charge more. Here's another one, how to draw animals. Bestsellers rank, it's a bit higher, 33,000. Still a reasonable seller. I'd be very happy with, with those sorts of sales. And let's again have a look inside. And as you can see, step-by-step -step pictures that build up to create a final picture and then a blank space for kids to draw in. Now, an interesting thing I noticed about this book is they're also selling a Kindle version. Is that selling? 799,000, not as many, probably making a few sales, um, but understandable. Kids want to, something to draw on, something to practice. Um, and here we have another one, the drawing book for kids. Best sellers rank 1,683, I like that. And again, they're selling a Kindle version. I'm not sure how well that's selling, still. Best sellers rank of 2,509 in the Kindle store. That'd be selling quite a few, which is quite surprising for a, a how to draw book. And if we just go back to the paperback edition, look inside, you'll see it's very similar to the other books that we've produced. Um, give that a moment. Again, how to build up pictures with lines. This book has got a, a few more things in, but we're just, this is just to create a simple book. That's what I'm going to show you. And this is going to be in Adobe Illustrator. You can use the same principles in Adobe Photoshop or free um, image editing software like uh, GIMP and also say a free vector editing software. I can't think of the name of one off the top of my head, but I know there is one, almost certain of it. So what I did, opened up Illustrator, just opened up a blank A4 file. Now I went over to Vecteasy and just searched for animals and, uh, and came up with, with these cute animals. And we're going to do this bird. So I downloaded it and we're just going to drag that over to our Adobe Illustrator page. Now I'm just going to shift that because we're going to look at this bird so I'm just going to get that. So now what we're going to do is do an outline drawing of this bird. And then we'll show you what to do next. So first of all, I'm going to take the ellipse tool, place it in the center, press Alt on the Mac keyboard. I think that's Control on a, on a um, Windows computer. And we want center to be clear and we want the outline and I do a stroke 
weight of three just to thicken the lines a bit in fact I might increase that a little bit more in a moment and then we're going to do the eyes again just put that approximately in the center press alt draw a circle same for this one okay and then we want to go to the paintbrush tool and i'm just going to draw the outline now i'm doing this with my mouse so it is a bit tricky if you've got a sort of a, a wacom pen tablet this can make it a bit easier but illustrator will smooth out these lines for you so don't worry too much if they're a bit jagged okay so we've got the wings there i'm just going to color in the eyes in black i'm going to draw just on the outline of the crown draw the beak and draw the feet So you see, it's relatively simple, it doesn't have to be overly artistic, just to get the general outline. Okay, now the outline for the body of the bird, I did in a weight, a stroke weight of three. I'm just going to change that to four, just to thicken it a bit. And same for the eyes, just make it look a bit better. you can adjust these yourself to whatever you feel looks better in fact i'm going to just increase that to five okay so now on my layers panel i'll what i'll do next is just switch off the the bottom layer so here we have just a simple picture of a, a bird a little cartoon bird that kids could draw. So now we're going to take the different elements of these and paste them onto a keynote file to create the page. So just highlight the main body shape, copy, and we're going to go to keynote. Now I've just opened up a, a file and these are going to be the pages. Now, depending on the, the number of pages in your book, this has just got three at the moment, but obviously you'd have more pages. And the size is an 8.5 times 11 inch book. So in point size, this is 612 times 792. So we've got our page here. Now I'm just going to paste in the diagram that we had. And I'm just going to put it over there. Don't worry too much about its position on the page at the moment or, or the size we're going to change the size later so now we go back to illustrator and we're going to click on to on the wings this time in photoshop you just could click on the the layers that contain the wings copy go over to keynote and paste so put that over there like so go back now we'll do the eyes next we'll copy up to there and paste let's drag that down don't worry if you overlap the page at the moment i'll show you what we're going to be doing soon And we'll highlight the crown, copy. So you see what we're doing here. It's relatively straightforward and get it roughly lined up. Doesn't have to be exact. I'll move that one over there. In fact, I'll move this just over a little bit. Same for this one. Okay, now we'll do the, just highlight the beak 
again copy and so what I forgot to mention is when I'm highlighting these individual components I'm actually holding down the shift button as well so that it it highlights the the new component and keeps it together with the components you've already highlighted so we'll copy that I should have mentioned that before and we'll paste that into our keynote now I'm using keynote again if you're a Windows user you can use um, God, oh, forgot the name of it the equivalent <laughs> on on it will come to me in a moment I'm gonna highlight the feet PowerPoint you can use PowerPoint on Windows to, to do exactly the same thing so copy there over to there paste and we'll just drag our little bird down there line it up again doesn't have to be exact so now what we're going to do is highlight all of these go to arrange and group them and now we can adjust the size and the position so we can reduce those down and position them on our page like so And so you see we've got our, our little page here where a child can draw and build up the book as so. Now if you want to be a little extra fancy we could add some numbers in there. So if we go to text, put in the letter uh, at number one. We'll just enlarge this a bit so we can see what we're doing and then put a circle around there. highlight that in black one point just enlarge the page a bit so I can see what I'm doing more I'm just going to move that more into the center and we can copy and paste and just drag that across change that to a number highlight that change it to number two and so on so you can do you know one to six that way so copy go over to here paste that's a bit awkward to drag there we go you can paste that there make it a little bit bigger and so on so you could have number one two three four five six not absolutely necessary so I'm just going to change the position of this so we'd have the the, the the opening front page of the book and you could write something like how to draw cute animals for kids and then obviously the next page would be this and then the opposing page would just be a blank page you could add, add some writing up here like your sketch your drawing that type of thing and then so on so you then add in another slide and you would do a similar design to this with a different animal cute animal cartoon dinosaur tractors cars whatever and then you put that on the next page again followed by a blank page and now you can see how you can build that up into a how to draw kids uh kids book now depend the number of pages depends on how many diagrams you want to produce so if you you had you know 20 30 diagrams that would be a 40 to 41 to 61 page book um, and you could charge as appropriate and obviously you'd have to do your cover and you can do that yourself or you could outsource it as I've mentioned before on something like Upwork or or Fiverr so that's a, a, a relatively simple way to produce the interiors of these types of how to draw books um, it's quite a simple technique, wouldn't take you long, probably, you know, if you were starting out doing this, maybe a day's work, but there's potential there for big sales and making some quite handsome profits, particularly during lockdown. So that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to hit the subscribe button and also smash that notification bell 
And if you did like that, give it a thumbs up. And until the next video, goodbye.